Welcome to another mega exciting five minute auto pairing. kind of accept to the gamut uh, actually um. <clears throat> So E4, I guess, is is good. Um, we've got a bit of pressure here. or something knight g6 to e5 that really good try and put pressure on the e file Seven and like double, and then knight takes f3 after. Uh, it's very solid. Yeah. Let's see what can I do? Very solid. But he was very solid. I think I can just take on f3 Check. now. From D takes his, his D knight. Looks uh... ah. Yeah, that's okay for him, yeah. Can I not blunt that though? That bishop, try and blunt the bishop. Pass pawn. Hmm. If I got this passport, what do I do with this bishop? Ah, it's going to weaken his king a bit though with this uh, light square exchange. And this is going for bishop e5, not bishop c4, bishop b5. I right, get my king out of here. Actually, bishop h5 looks. Why don't I play bishop h5? So b5, knight e5. I'll just do this, try and support that pass pawn locking in his bishop. Hmm. I think rook f8 to f3 is well, just doubling on the f file now. Is is a plan? Is one plan? Rook f8. Uh, rook h, rook f3. Uh, bishop f3, queen g4. I think bishop f3 just to sort of weaken the light squares a bit if he wants to exchange here. <clears throat> I 
actually queen g4 hit c4 that's something to bear in mind here that gives me queen f3 potentially okay i'm going like with h4 h3 that's quite dangerous i think Oh, fair enough. I can threaten Bishop H4. Ah, I didn't want to do it at the expense of E5 though. My Bishop H4 here. Yeah, I'm losing too many pawns. I think this this was a dubious exercise. Why did I do that? Oh, that was silly. Um, he's got queen e two, and he's actually yeah, I think e four again. Maybe h4 then, if we're going for queen g4 h3. Um, right, d3. There's queen b6 on f2. Uh, there's bishop e3 there. Right, queen, queen g4 here for h3. Looks a bit dangerous. So H3. Check. Right, there's rook f2 now. Check. Check. Yeah, it's got crash through. Oh well. Yeah, it was, it was tricky. Um, is it worth having a quick look? Yeah, this is just. Oh, actually, this is okay because he did give the pawn back. No, um, a bit too late to about my position, I think. Absolutely fine here. It's better for black. Check. <laughs> of course, worse. No, no, no. Here, I mean, here it's better for black. I mean, I did start to go wrong when I lost my queenside pawns. For no reason. The bishop was happy on b6. And I started uh, this exercise of losing pawns soon. In fact, when did the evaluation drop here? I have queen. What does queen e6 do? What am I actually threatening? Let's give him. Right, let's give him a move. Oh, rook f3. Move here. d3. Oh, Check. rook f2. Oh. Of course, the bishop was ideal for f2. All I needed to do was stop rook c8 with queen e6. That's incredible. This position. So even did I have that earlier? So queen e6 was was good, and again rook takes f2 there, deflecting the rook from c8. If Check. takes you know just rook takes c8 is good as well. But no, I decided to lose my queen side instead <laughs> with this bishop maneuver. Still okay here. Queen c6. Bishop takes c for queen c6. What does that do? Oh, hitting. <laughs> That's amazing. What resources are in the position? And so I can take here first. And then. Yeah. It's amazing. It's not, it's not what I imagined. So apparently h4 here was good for black as well. But why? I suppose the queen's tied down there. So this is again double attacks. Blimey, so there are lots and lots of chances here in this game. And again, I'm, I seem to be better. D3 is actually liked? No, bishop b6. To get on f2 again. <laughs> bishop b6 here, getting on f2. <laughs> I, I managed to get 
Okay, mate, you're free in the end. But okay, blimey. So that basically there was a lot of negativity there in that game. Um, unjustified. There were a lot of resources always available for double attacks, pressure on F2, etc. Okay, comments or questions on YouTube. Thanks very much.